Hi, I just wanted to do this quick video. It was something I um, was just been thinking about. Uh, people sort of asking me about how to start meditating and how to how to get into it. And I think a lot of people get stuck when they see or, uh, or you know they they hear of people who have been meditating for for many years and they have this very proper technique or this pro proper uh, system and practice in place and I think a lot of people can be uh, intimidated by that and there's something I noticed um, fairly recently in, in uh, something I heard about from tennis players and they have this thing known as the 16 second cure and so it's a great example of how thoughts can um, cloud our mind and can um, cover up our awareness, uh, make us lose the, the presence or, or the present moment or the awareness. And so, uh, particularly in high, uh, particularly with high-profile um, tennis players, if they are, um, if they lose a point, they can find themselves getting into a, a state whereby they are, uh, their thoughts are going. Ten to the dozen, and they are uh, they're getting tripped up by those thoughts and, and and caught up in the sort of spirals of you know why did I choose to hit that shot and how come I've hit the net again and why does this always happen at this stage in the match and so they start going through these cycles of uh, where they get lost in their thought and it's a, it's a situation that we can all relate to it's a situation that happens for all of us when we we invest so much into the thoughts that we get lost in that that spiral and we lose our awareness and we lose our present moment so they have this little ritual which is the 16 second cure and then it, it's a way for them to break from that thought pattern quite negative thought pattern which isn't helping them at all as a as a player and it allows them to break so that they can start the next point from from presence from a clean slate, I suppose, and you know it involves sort of um, a number of steps to the back of the court, and then they'll bounce the ball, and then they they can have slightly different ways of doing it, but they they might spin their racket or they might look um, at their wristband, or they have they have a certain uh, practice that is a routine, and it brings them to that it brings their awareness to that presence, so they can then look up and they're on the next point and all that matters is the point that they are on and I just thought this was a great uh, analogy for how a lot of us find ourselves in, in everyday life and so rather than thinking about meditating oh I need to go and do two hours of meditation um, what you could try is, is instead you could try a, a form of a, a 16 second cure um, so I started to think about how that would work in terms of meditation, in terms of awareness. And um, I think it could be something as straightforward as uh, you simply, you, when you catch yourself getting caught up in the thoughts, when you, when you find yourself getting a bit lost, you can just think, okay, I'm going I'm to do the, second, the 16 second cure. So you, you just breathe in for four counts. Um, and if, if you can be mindful, you can close your mouth and just use your nose but um, I mean really if you just sort of pause take a deep breath for a count of four and then you hold for seven count off seven as you pause and hold that breath and then a slow exhale for eight counts now this may take 16 seconds it may be shorter or longer but um, th that's fine uh, you, you just go through the process. Uh, breathe in for four, hold it for seven, and on that pause, you find you start coming to the present moment. Slow exhale for eight. And then you can repeat this through the day, I mean five times, ten times, whenever it occurs to you that you've slipped out of the presence and you're into your head. You can go for the 16 second cure, and you can go through the... the in breath for four, hold for seven, exhale 
for eight. Um, you can link those up if you wanted to repeat that. That's absolutely fine. And I guess an extension of this is that if you look at um, sitting and meditating, in a way that's that's a more intentional um, set of 16 second cures all joined together where you give yourself the time and space to perform that little process um, back to back over and over and over. Um, but if that's not a part of your day yet and if that's not a part of your life, um, but you need something that can just um, bring you a bit of relief from being lost in your thoughts, then try try this as a, a, as a method. Um, just remember the four, seven, eight count. And you can do that as many times as you want during your day, whenever you need to sort of reset and become aware of your present moment now. Um, and then just allow those thoughts, they will just dissolve of themselves. And uh, use it whenever it occurs to you. Use it whenever you think it will be useful. And um, I think that will be a great benefit to you. Uh, do, do let me know uh, how it goes. Um, you can visit the website. The The URL is below. Um, or you can go to craigcoggle.com. And I'd love to hear uh, your thoughts on, on the 16-second cure.